What insult or comeback from a TV show or movie do you think about all the time? Don't, 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 don't tell me it tastes like chicken. No, Sam, it's a lizard. It tastes like a lizard. What insult or comeback from a TV show or movie do you think about all the time? You think you can intimidate me? Yeah. When I was undercover, Jimmy the Butcher cut off my little toe with garden shears and made me eat it as a loyalty test. I've been through hell. Big deal. I worked at a sunglass kiosk at the mall for four years, so not only have I been through hell, I was assistant manager there. What insult or comeback from a TV show or movie do you think about all the time? Take it out, Smith. I got you a clownfish. I don't want some janky freshwater bitch fish with me. <laughs> I want a lionfish. What insult or comeback from a TV show or movie do you think- I'm gonna shut down those factories faster than you can bedazzle a fucking sweatshirt. Let's cut the shit, Selena. Oh, here it is. All roads through Colorado go through me and the toll just went up. You're playing a very dangerous game of chicken with the head fucking hen. Because if I don't win the White House, O'Brien is gonna sink your stupid boats. And you're gonna look like a hairsprayed asshole in your 1980s mother with a bride dress. And if I do win, I will have my administration come to your shitty little district and shake it to death like a Guatemalan nanny. And then I'm going to have the IRS crawl so far up your husband's colon, he's going to wish the only thing they find is more cancer. God. So, can I count on your vote? Or do I need to shove a box of White House M&Ms up your stretched out six baby batch? Mm. Yes, you can count my vote. What insult or comeback from a TV show or movie do you think about all the time? Do not be warned. You have declared war upon the Cybermen. This is not war. This is pest control. We have five million Cybermen. How many are you? Four? You would destroy the Cybermen with four Daleks. We would destroy the Cybermen with one Dalek. You are superior in only one respect. What is that? You are better at dying. What insult or comeback from a TV show or movie do you think about all the time? Hey, Mia, you better hide your baby, y'all. I'm just playing. <laughs> you better hide that big-ass forehead. <laughs> I'm just joking. Whatever. Oh, definitely. What insult or comeback from a TV show or movie do you think about all the time? I'll go first. We now return to Paris Geller scenes that we just need to watch. So I told her, look, Missy, you called your advisor Missy? It was attitudinal. I said, I'm not taking AP calculus from Henneman. I'm going with Branch. Branch is a graduate of MIT and Henneman went to Berkeley. Berkeley, I mean, he may have majored in math, what did he minor in? Bean sprouts, forget it. And I'm telling my advisor all this, Mrs. Schlosser, and I look down in her trash can and there's this half-eaten banana in there, nothing else. And I pictured her sitting in the shoebox of an office eating a banana all by herself. And I almost felt sorry for her, but then she questioned my judgment about Berkeley, so I eviscerated her. Brad's mom, the buffalo stuffer. She doesn't stuff the animals, that's taxidermy. Who is this rabbi that encouraged you to come back here? Give me his address, I'm gonna go over there and pop him one. Oh, I appreciate your courtesy, and I'll make it brief. Having grad night on a yacht is the worst idea since Nelville Chamberlain told the people of England, hey, don't worry about Hitler, he's a stand-up chap. Forget the inconvenience. What insult or comeback from a TV show or movie do you think about all the time? I'll go first. Fine. What insult or comeback from a TV show or movie do you think about all the time? Yes. Well, let me tell you this, year, We are just as good as you are. You don't think Rory is good enough for your son as if we don't know Logan's reputation? We do. But he is welcome in our home anytime, and you should extend the same courtesy to Rory. Emily. Now let's talk about your money. 
You were too big gold digger, fresh off the bus from Hicksville when you met Mitchum at whatever bar you happened to stumble into. And what made Mitchum decide to choose you to marry amongst the pack of women he was betting at the time, I'll never know. But hats off to you for bagging him. He's still a playboy, you know. Well, of course you know that would explain why your weight goes up and down 30 pounds every other month. But that's your cross to bear. But these are ugly realities. No one needs to talk about them. Those kids are staying together for as long as they like. You won't stop them. Now enjoy the event. What insult or comeback from a TV show or movie do you think about all the time? It's a family members. What about your sister? My sister's been through a lot. A dick. Get. What insult or comeback from a TV show or movie do you think about all the time? Oh, and guys, hurry up. Go get some moist towels. We have to keep Finn wet before we can roll him back in the sea. Okay, you know what, Santana? Finn is in great shape, and your meanness only highlights your own personal insecurity. And Rachel, your mustache is thicker than a Middle Eastern dictator's. What insult or comeback from a TV show or movie do you think about all the time? You don't want to talk about finances. You want to go back to face? Well, first of all, I don't know how one can purchase a million dollar home in their name with no finances. How? Okay, Eva, wow, you got a house. We all got a house. Yeah, and y'all are older than me, too. Girl, you are not a spring chicken, boo boo. You are an aged hen. Oh, God. Girl, them titties is aged hens. They social distancing. Bitch, don't come for me. <laughs> you like them? You like them? What insult or comeback from a TV show or movie do you think about all the time? Why are you following me? I'm your intern for the day. Hello, intern. You have a name? Joe Wilson. Nice. I like picking the boys' names. Karev. What? I do. It's hot. Stop sleeping with your coworkers. It ruins them. Slept with you. And now I no longer sleep with men. <laughs> What insult or comeback from a TV show or movie do you think about all the time? Uh, the lamb here is supposed to be great. Oh, I am a vegan. I wish I could tune out that moral voice inside me that says eating animals is murder. But I guess I'm just not as strong as you are. That's because you need protein. I'll have the lamb. What insult or comeback from a TV show or movie do you think about all the time? When did just plain on getting naked become boring? Antibiotic lavage. Yeah, I suppose men do it too. They dabble their penis. I'm really trying not to think about it. Somebody look that up. On it? Just foolish. Idiotic. Captain, you have a vajazz on yourself? Oh, right. Jesus isn't a fan of the vajazz. Thank you.